we're just coming up to the River Dart now. And um, I think this mark on the hill here helps you get in. There's a couple of big rocks on the entrance. And uh, we're just going to sail this way a little bit further and then we're basically going to make a turn. We've put the, got the engine on and we're just going to basically drive our way in. Um, we can see there's a mark just there now. It's been pretty rough. It's calming down. We had a real big storm last night in the marina. Some proper wind that is. Just literally this evening it's um we knew it was coming but um I'm glad we're in here to be honest. Just doing a few quick checks to make sure everything's okay. Might put some fenders on this side because this boat's getting really close to us. There was lightning, yeah. A bit of all sorts, wasn't there? The wind was horrendous. It ripped somebody's front sail. A um, couple of boats this morning with broken ropes. So when we come out of, uh, we didn't film that, but when we come out of uh, Torquay, we had a really, really big swell. But we did okay. We've, on, we've sailed, sailed past basically Brixham, Berry Head, along this coastline here, and then we're gonna make a turn in a minute. We're just on pot watch again. It's a little bit better here. They seem to be using orange pots, which is slightly better, but you know. It's better when they use no pots. It's better when they use no pots. Also, it's better if. There was thunder, yeah. yeah. Yellow's the worst to see in the sun. Yeah. Blues and greens are absolute pain in the bums. Because you just cannot see them. Especially if we've got a bit of swell like today. I mean, it's a lot calmer here than it was around the corner, but uh, you just can't see them. What they should be is they should all be bright orange with a light on and a sort of cone shaped or bright red or bright red so you can actually see them. I can see a couple more over there so we're going to make a turn in a second and uh, we're going to head in and hopefully we can find a mooring or a pontoon for the night in there and that should be nice and then tomorrow the wind completely changed direction this sea will be even calmer um, from this, this storm that we had last night and uh, we will uh, we'll probably make our way home or start making our way home anyway. But it's been really nice. It's really, really brined up this morning. It looked horrible, didn't it? It was, it was shocking it though. Yeah, it wasn't pleasant at all. So this is the entrance to the uh, River Dart. Quite a busy little place. You've got these sort of um, forts, which I believe you can actually stay in now. They've all been converted to uh, Airbnbs, probably. But it's quite nice because you can come, there's there's obviously transport and all stuff on this side, and you can come down, and in, in, we'll show you in a minute, you can come down, there's, a, uh, there's a, a, a little launch that takes you across, a little ferry, he takes you across, and they can just go constantly back and to down here, uh, and you can get across this side, and you can have a nice walk out to the end here, which we've done a long time ago now, but we did. having a little bit of a run out mm, we might not go to the shore but might just have a little Watch go around it's quite pretty out here a lot of houses there's our boat oh no <laughs> see we don't have boat
a start this morning. We're heading out of the Dart and we're heading back or starting to make our way home. You can see these sector lights. There's one here uh, and there's another one here. So when you're coming in, you can see them changing colour. We're okay now to turn, but it was white just um, and now it's just turning to green. So on the way in, you sort of stay in the white. Like I say, when you're coming into this one here, this one does exactly the same. This one. Uh, and then on your way out, this one does the, uh, basically does the reverse. So you head towards that while it's white. And then as soon as you can see the red that's on this side, you make your turn and head out. It's lovely this morning. Not many people out. There's a couple of yachts out there already. But it's very, very still. Nice. You can just see that this sector light now is, has come on. It was flashing red, just it's just gone to white. But the um, the lights in them now they're so the colour is so intense. It's really very, very clear. You're just seeing there's loads of like hidey holes and little cuts in the rock here be interesting to explore for a little bit more time but we've got to start heading back. It's been nice though. We're on Dolphin Watch again. Just seen that. While they're just looking at I'll show you this way. We've got our sails up today. This is good, we're actually sailing. We're doing quite well, we're doing six quick two knots at the moment. We should be there in about five hours. Got the tea on now. We've just had some uh, some breakfast. It's on. It's getting hot. See, so when you're going along, this is how you can actually cook food and and uh, tea and things and make tea because you're a cooker. Tilt. Look at that. We've just seen another boat. It's just gone past. It's just over there. So that's the view from that side, and then the view from this side is pretty much water until you get to about here. a couple of big waves actually, there's a couple of waves coming through but uh, other than that it's not too bad. If you've got a little bit of engine assist now, um, you can see the bill is just over here. We're quite far off it this time. Um, the current now has changed direction, so it's not in our favor. So we've come further out to just sort of avoid it. We're doing about four knots, just over four knots. You can see a couple of yachts heading this way. And one we just passed one here. Um, all going with the, with the current now, heading across towards um, Torquay or in just in that general direction across Lime Bay. So we're gonna, we were gonna go around the corner and go into Weymouth, but I think we're actually gonna head a little bit further down. Um, there's not much point. By the time we've gone this long way round, it's pretty much the same distance to go back up to Weymouth as it is to go to like Lulworth Cove and, and a couple of places like along there. So we've decided to go a little bit further today and have a shorter journey possibly tomorrow or the next. It just depends on how long we stay in this next place. Um, so with us coming much further out, we're gonna go around, I think it's the Shambles. There's a, a, like a reef just off the end. Um, so we're gonna go right round that this time. So the, the water, the, the sort of the, the pools of death that come through the middle are on the inside of all of that rather than the uh, rather than the outer bit that we're now going around. There's a couple of people actually going around this way. I can't actually see anybody now, but there was one. There was a yacht in front of us. There's a powerboat coming down this way as well. We've also lost a bit of wind. So we put the front sail away. We just got our main still up, but it's just flapping around a little bit just at the moment. It's dropped right down to four knots from about 14, 15. We've pretty much sailed the whole way across, which has been really nice. So when we came um, sort of from this direction, we've uh, we've sailed, you know, the whole way at, at a good top end of five, bottom end of six knots, which has been really nice. We, uh, we got overtook by a Halberg Rassi. 
um, but it was a 450, so we'll let, him, we'll let him have that one. We couldn't keep up with him. So you can probably see Portland Bell over there. I mean, that's it's a good few miles away, but um, the current is so strong. There's a yacht here, and there's a yacht just behind Chris there, and we have just been, we must have been here an hour now, mustn't we? Just off this bit. We must have been here a good hour, maybe slightly longer, literally 3,000 revs, and we're doing 2.9, 2.8 knots. And uh, we've, I can't believe how strong it is, to be honest. I thought we were well clear of the race and everything else, but very little wind and, uh, and the tide going in the wrong direction. It just caught us all out a little bit. We're past the bill now, but you can still see this, the water swirling all over the place. It's worse back there, but it's just uh, really, really disturbed. We can just get a little bit further around the corner and we're hoping to make a bit of a turn, but we'll, we'll just have to see. Well, it's been a long day. We're all a bit exhausted. <laughs> Over the top of my life jacket, got a bit chilly. Oh, if we go for at least 12 hours, it'd be alright. It feels good. We go a long time. We got stuck at the bill. No, we were going for two hours and not going anywhere. Yeah, pretty much. Basically, yeah, we were going like 1.7 knots. Yeah, we, 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 we did. We managed to maintain up just, just under two knots. Two knots. We should have just gone around the other side anchored and then just come around later, is what we should have done. Um, but there's, there was three of us. Two yachts have continued on that direction, um, and we're making our way to Lulworth Cove. Oh, and what, uh, the yacht went off, oh yeah, he did. Yeah. So we're just on, we're just on pot watch again. Uh, just checking. There's nothing as we're coming in because we're all getting a little bit tired. Okay. Keep a look out. Yeah. Keep a look out with the flags. Yeah. Okay. So Lulworth Cove's just here in this gap making our way into that and you can see the bill and then the lowland bit there a couple of cruise ships over here ferries uh, <laughs> what, what how many hours has it actually been many that 10. yeah it's, it's been a long day we, we missed that gate by about 40 minutes maybe yeah. 45 minutes and that was it then we just we just couldn't get round yeah we were, still there for we were. So we basically just, we were treading water. We were very, very slowly moving forwards. Um, so we decided just to carry on really. And if we wanted uh, to avoid it, we would have to gone either like earlier. Yeah, um, we should have left an hour earlier yeah. is what we should have done. We should have left at or, like, five. Like hours. Watch your head on that. A couple of hours later. Yeah, we should have left at five. But, like, right, we're back on pot watch. So, yeah, I still before that's and we'll, um, We'll report back when we get in there. 